Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we'll solve one of the gate problem, previous gate problem, which is based on this graphical convolution concept. Okay, so I've discussed about the graphical convolution concept in the previous video. Okay, and this is the example problem from grade previous question. Okay. So in this question, he has given that h of t is equal to u of minus t minus 1 and the input signal applied is this x of t and he has asked to find the output set t is equal to 4 and t is equal to 0 0.5. Okay. So he has not asked you to find h of t, sorry, y of t output, but he has asked to find the values of output at the two instants one is t is equal to 4 and t is equal to 0 0.5 so anyhow in order to find uh, uh, y of t we have to take the uh, we have to graph two graphs uh, that is x of t and h of t so x of t graph is already given so now we have to graph h of t so what is h of t given so h of t is equal to u of minus t minus 1 so what is u of t we know so u of t is this one Okay, so f t is this one, but we need to find u of minus t minus 1. So first of all, u of minus t. What is u of minus t? So if u of t extends from 0 to infinity, u of minus t extends from 0 to minus infinity. That's all. So amplitude does not have any change. So this is your u of minus t. So next you have to find u of minus t minus 1. So what I have told you in order to find that shifting, so just make the uh, values inside this function equal to 0 so it will become minus t is equal to 1 or t is equal to minus 1 so just add minus 1 to this so 0 minus 1 this is also minus 1 so minus infinity minus 1 will become minus infinity 0 minus 1 becomes minus 1 so how will be this this is h of t which is u of minus t minus 1 now it extends from minus 1 to minus infinity minus 1 to minus infinity okay so this is your h of t only so we have not done anything regarding convolution we have just plotted h of t until now we have just plotted h of t okay so now we'll plot h of minus tau what is h of minus tau so if h of tau so this is h of tau sorry so h of tau extends from minus 1 to minus infinity then h of minus tau extends from plus 1 to minus infinity sorry plus 1 to plus infinity just the mirror image mirror image of this okay this graph right now it extends from 1 to infinity understood up to here so if uh, h of tau extends from minus 1 to minus infinity h of minus tau extends from 1 to infinity so everywhere you have to multiply it with minus 1 because tau is also multiplied by minus 1 so if you multiply it minus 1 so minus 1 into minus 1 becomes plus 1 minus infinity into minus 1 becomes plus infinity so it extends from 1 to infinity next is shifting so h of t minus tau you have to find so what is h of t minus tau what i have told you so t minus tau is equal to 0 tau is equal to t everywhere you have to add t so one is added with t infinity is also added with t so when one is added with tau, t so how, how will be h of t minus tau it will be from t plus 1 it is starting from t plus 1 and extending up to infinity okay so both are positive values only so it extends up to infinity so this is h of t minus tau and if you substitute tau you'll get x of tau so these are the two values which we have to consider for convolution right so first of all we have finding for t is equal to 4 we are finding the value of y of t at t is equal to 4 that is at the instant t is equal to 4 so when t is equal to 4 then how will be h of t minus tau so when t is equal to 4 now it extends from 5 because t is equal to 4 t plus 1 is equal to 5 it extends from starting with 5 and extends up to infinity okay so first let me draw x of t this is your x of tau yes or no 
so this is from 6 1 2 with an amplitude here the amplitude is 3 and here amplitude is 1 so this is your y of t right so what is h of t minus tau it extends from 5 it extends from 5 with an amplitude of 1 so amplitude is same 1 and extends up to infinity okay so what is the common area this is the common area this is the common area okay so beyond 5 so it starts from 5 so beyond 5 so if uh, tau is less than 5 h of t minus tau is equal to 0 so this is equal to 0 because below 5 its value is equal to 0 and beyond 6 x of tau is equal to 0 so it extends from 5 to 6 6 is the limit here and 5 is the limit here so it extends from 5 to 6 so that is what the common area is so y of t how can you find y of t is equal to integral 5 to 6 amplitude is constant so from 5 to 6 amplitude is constant which is equal to 1 1 dt so is equal to t limits are from 5 to 6 which is equal to 6 minus 5 which is equal to 1 therefore we have got y of 4 is equal to 1 okay so t is equal to 4 y of 4 value is equal to 1 we have got right understood so this is how we can solve for t is equal to 4 okay then next we have to solve for t is equal to 0 0.5 okay so let me draw x of t first because x of t is a constant you can't change anything so this is your x of t so when t is equal to 0 0.5 now it starts from t plus 1 that is 0 0.5 plus 1 it starts from 1.5 so h of t starts from 1.5 and extends up to infinity with an amplitude of 1 only with an amplitude of 1 so this is 1 and this is 2 so it extends from 1 okay so it extends from 1.5 it extends from 1.5 so this is 3 with an amplitude of 1 like this ok right so this is what 1.5 is okay so at 1.5 it it so the limits are from 1.5 to 1.5 to 6 okay so the limits of uh, the common area so this is the common area yes or no so this is the common area so you have to extend up to 3 so this is your common area so now the limits are from 1.5 to 6 so from 1.5 to 2 1.5 to 2 so this value 1.5 to 2 so y of t is equal to integral 1.5 to 2 the amplitude is going to be so you have to take the common area common area means multiplication of amplitudes so x of tau into h of t minus tau so from 1.5 to 2 okay so within this interval what is x of tau value 3 and h of t minus tau value 1 so 3 into 1 is going to be 3 so this is what 3 is plus from 2 to 6 from 2 to 6 x of tau value is 1 and h of t minus tau value is also 1 so 1 into 1 will become 1 only from 2 to 6 it is 1 1 dt okay so 3 into so 3 into t so t will be 2 minus 0 2 minus 1.5 plus 6 minus 2 so it will be 4 plus 3 into 1.5 okay 3 into 1.5 sorry 3 into 0 0.5 3 into 0 0.5 so 4 plus 1.5 which is equal to 5.5 so this is the answer so t is equal to 0, 0 0.5 so y of 0 0.5 is equal to 5.5 okay so this is how we can solve 
the values if they asked for uh, to find the output you can find the output like in the previous video i have solved that one question and if you are asked to find the value of output at two different instance you can find like this okay so this is about convol graphical convolution okay